Hey YouTube, how you doing? This is Scott. Rocky. My husband Rocky. Um, on Monday, Monday, right? Mm -hmm. Monday we saw the world premiere of A Right to Love, an American Family at the Castro Theater in San Francisco. Um, featuring the LaFue family, Depp Fox, Gay Family Values here on YouTube. And Jay asked us to go ahead and do a little movie review of what we thought of the movie. And he said, no holes barred. No holes barred. Let's take whatever you want. Okay. So, uh, first of all, for those who have no idea what the movie is, it is a documentary by Jay Bird Productions, and it follows the LaFue family, and basically just kind of following their life as they started their YouTube channel after the Prop 8 decision um, taking away marriage rights from gays and lesbians. And, you know, basically their whole thing is just showing a gay family and how, you know, they're just normal people and nothing to be afraid of and that type of thing. Um, personally, I loved the movie. Uh, I thought it was awesome. It does a great job doing what it's meant to do. It's supposed to put a face on a, on a gay family, right? Everyone, all the people against gay rights, they just keep, you know, doing the same arguments, how, you know, they're going to destroy America and they're going to come after your children in the middle of the night and eat them and, you know, all these scary arguments of how gay people are so scary and they're, they can't have families and they're horrible people and all this crazy, you know, you know, mistruths and stuff in the world. And you see them and they're just an awesome family. Jay and Brian are awesome parents. And they're raising two awesome kids, Daniel and Selena. And that is what this movie shows. It just shows them, you know, doing their normal thing. The, yes, they're, they have activism, you know, and, and they, they go and do stuff. But it just shows their normal daily routine of just waking their kids up in the morning, taking them to school, being the tooth fairy and putting dollar bills under their pillows when they lose their baby teeth. I hope the kids didn't see that part. <laughs> I think the jig is up. I think the jig is up. I think the kids now know the Tooth Fairy's not real. But um, I thought the movie was great. Um, it'll make you laugh. It'll make you cry. Um, it was an amazing movie. What did you think? I thought they did a great job with the editing portion. Uh, the research that went behind the um, pros and the cons with Maggie Gallagher. And, you know, the, they, there were some pretty um, interesting... Uh, viewpoints on both sides um you got to see a lot of people's reaction to prop 8 both the for and against that was really nice uh, i liked it the only there are there are a couple things that did that i felt the movie should have touched upon one i would have loved to have seen uh, more commentary from the kids i would love to have seen you know commentary from daniel and, and, and selena because i think they um from the mouths of babes you know you really you know, having great dads like Jay and Brian are great, but to actually hear from the kids, I think would be amazing. Yeah, that's true. The other part too that I that I really wish was in the movie was, um, yes, the right to love is really important, but also the legalities of marriage, in in its entirety. You know, like pension and you know um, visitation at a hospital. You know, so, someone passes away, there's no survivor's benefits. There's so many um, individuals out there who've been together for years and years, and they built a home together, and then one of them passes, unfortunately, and they lose their house because they're not recognized federally. So hopefully, Cassie, if you're watching this, if you should do a spinoff or, an, or another extension, um, you know, and <laughs> calling it, you know, the 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 laws of love or whatever, which I think is equally as important as just wanting to be married. Yes. Um... I do agree that all those factual stuff is super important. I don't necessarily think it had a place in this particular movie because I think this movie was meant to just to put a real face on the gay family, which I thought it did an amazing job of. Well, I also so. think that's just the part of it. It needs to be total package. If you're going to do it, you should expose all sides. See, we don't agree. Nope. Yep. You don't agree. No. Nope. But we do agree it was an awesome movie. Yes. And we agree that everyone should go see it. My mascara was running. Yes. So um, they will be making, you know, the circuit this year, 2012, um, to different film festivals and whatnot. So go to R2L, that's R, the number two, L, movie.com, um, and you can see where it will be, you know, they, they keep the website up to date on film festivals it's going to. This weekend, it'll actually be in Eugene, Oregon, mm -hmm. is the next film festival it'll be at. So anyone around Eugene, Oregon should go see it. Yep. 
Um, I just saw today, I think Jay posted that it was going to be in San Rafael at a film festival in March, I want to say. Um, so that's cool. So another chance for Bay Area people to go see it, the ones that weren't willing to go all the way to San Francisco or something. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. Um, and there you have it. There's our review of The Right to Love, An American Family. I, if you have a chance to see it, go see it. Yeah. You definitely should go see it. And um, I think it's important that this movie not only gets distributed you know, within our community, because you know, that is kind of like preaching to the choir, just being in our community. I think for this movie to have the most impact, it really needs to be seen by, you know, everyone, even the people that don't agree with us, you know, because it might help, because the whole point is that it could help change, you know, hearts and minds. So hopefully, you know, people will have, you know, an open enough mind to want to go see it you know, and, you know, bring your parents, you know, tell them to come see it. Yeah. There is one thing I do want to mention. Um, as much as we, as a community, you know, strive for, you know, being supportive of one another. I was really disappointed that it wasn't sold out. I, w I really thought that, you know, there'd be more people, you know, there to support this film. Disappointed in that. Yeah. And, and, and you know what? I, uh, you know, for those of you who didn't go and who knew it was there and couldn't make it, you know, that's unfortunate. Um, but just remember that, you know, sitting at home and not partaking in these type of events is just as bad as not saying anything so please go out and support this film i i yeah i mean as i was you know i was 50 50 i was excited to be there I was so happy i was excited to be you know a part of the red carpet premiere which is pretty cool yeah that was pretty but cool. part of me was like seriously guys we don't have a why, why don't we have a sellout why did we not sell out yeah you so, think in the castro would have sold out and that's and part of it was that it was on a Monday and people said they didn't want to, you know, go be out too late because they have to work the next day, but... The movie started at 7. We drove home at, like, midnight. Yeah. And we still went to work the next day. I went, I went with a migraine. Say. With a migraine. My husband went with a migraine. And I still went because I needed to support... That's right. This. That's right. This. This cause. Because inaction is the same as agreeing with your enemy. Yeah, well... That's what I have to say. Well, I, I don't want to know... I don't want to say that, but... Just... No... <laughs> No action is, is no bueno. And so um, I, I do want to apologize to Jay because, you know, I feel like we cheated on him. Why did we cheat on him? Oh, because this has nothing to do with the movie review, but we took a picture with Brian and um, we didn't take a picture with Jay. So we totally cheated on, on Jay. We and just took a picture with Brian. So we, we cheated on Jay. Yeah. We picture cheated on Jay. But it's okay. It's a really awesome picture. Yes. We look good. We do look good. Yeah. I look skinny. So does Brian. Brian looks really good too. Yes. Brian I think I think he's think that's why the picture looks so good because Brian's in it. Yeah, that's true. Brian's in the middle. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Okay, YouTube. Till next time, you say it. Love and bubbles. Yeah. Love and bubbles. <laughs>